Let's use this concept of symmetry to help us sketch a graph now. And the way this works is that we first take our equation and decide whether it's symmetric over the y-axis, the x-axis, or the origin. And depending on which one it is, will help us shape where we go from here. So the y-axis, we change the sign of our x's. And we know that raising a number to a, a negative number to an odd power keeps it negative, so this simply becomes minus x cubed minus x, which is false, that's not exactly the same. The y-axis, minus y changes, x cubed, that should be black, x cubed plus x. I don't need to do anything else, that's also false because it's not exactly the same. And in our last case, we get minus y equals minus x cubed plus, I uh, don't know why that didn't go black, cubed plus a minus x, which becomes minus y equals minus x cubed minus x. But if I multiply everything by a negative, change all the signs, we get y equals x cubed plus x, which is the original, so this is true. So now that I know it's symmetric over the origin, all I need to do to graph it is to find some points, some values that make this true. And so we're going to start with these, this set, 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, and 2. And I picked these in particular because they're going to help with the graph. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my x-axis be on 0.5 and my y-axis be on 1s. So every tick mark is 0.5 in x, and every tick mark going up is 1 in y. So we take our x cubed plus x, and we plug in 0. So we're going to get 0 cubed plus 0, which is 0. Do the same thing with 0.5. 0.5 cubed plus 0.5 is 0.625. 1 cubed plus 1 is 2. 1.5 cubed plus 1.5 is 4.875. And 2 cubed plus 2 is 10. And because this was symmetric over the origin, all I need to do is change all of my x's to negatives and change all of my y's to negatives. And I can get my graph. So I have 0, 0. 0 0.5, 0 0.625, 1, 2, 1 1.5, just a little bit less than 5, oops, and 2, 10. And so my graph looks kind of like this. And I can do the same thing for my negatives. 0 0.5, 0 0.625, minus 1, 2, a little bit less than 5, and 10, and I get a graph that looks a lot more like that. And there we've used symmetry, and notice this is symmetric about the origin, to get my graph.